Using a gas burette and leveling bulb, you can collect a sample of gas. The burette and bulb shown are filled with water tinted green for better visibility. The air pressure pushing down on the surface of water causes the level of water in the connected containers to be the same. What would happen if you moved the position of the leveling bulb? Well, the water levels would change until they were equivalent again. The same thing would happen if you were to raise the bulb. The water levels would change once again until they were equivalent. But be careful! If you try to raise the bulb above the level of the burette, the water will try to rise to the same level and will begin spilling out of the burette. To use the equipment in this lab, the bulb should usually be placed in an iron ring attached to a ring stand, and the water levels in the bulb and burette allowed to reach equivalent levels. A reaction vessel, such as a large test tube, can be attached to the burette using tubing and airtight stoppers. It's important that the stoppers be airtight because you want to collect all of the gas produced in a reaction without losing any. You will need to test your system to make sure that it's airtight. So once you have it assembled and have checked the stoppers and adjusted the setup, take the bulb and raise it and lower it and watch the water level in the burette. Since it is now a closed system, the water level should not change very much. It will drop or rise one to two milliliters, but it will not continue to move until the water level is equivalent to that in the bowl. When you're convinced that the system is airtight, you can proceed. Notice that the reaction vessel attached to the burette via tubing will allow gas to rise through the tubing and be collected in the burette. This means that you will have to read the amount of gas collected from the markings on the burette. We will use the volume markings to the right side of the hash marks that are labeled 0 from the top to 50 at the bottom. As you're adjusting your setup, make sure that your original volume of water is between 0 and 5 milliliters. Notice in the photo that there are markings above 0. You don't want the water level above 0. You want it between 0 and 5. Once you've adjusted the water level, you can add any solid reactant to the reaction vessel. Then replace the stopper tightly. At this point, you're ready to read the initial volume of gas in the gas burette. Remember to use the correct number of significant figures. Then, one partner can add the liquid reactant and tightly close the stopper immediately, while the other partner uses the leveling bulb to follow the level of gas down as it is produced and collected in the burette. You might want to gently shake the reaction vessel to make sure that all of the reactants react and release the maximum amount of gas. After no more gas is being collected, you can read the final volume from the burette. Make sure that you continue to hold the bulb so that its water level matches that in the burette. This is essential because the matched water level assures that the pressure inside the burette is equivalent to the pressure outside the burette, which is the same as atmospheric pressure. 